All right, so this truck has been primed. Every panel's been primed probably three times. Twice with a high build epoxy and once with the high build urethane. So now we're prepping the paint. We've spent a lot of time getting everything super straight. So there should be no dent finding anymore. Only thing we should be looking for are very minor imperfections. So we're still gonna use a stick, a paint paddle for the initial blocking we're gonna go over this whole thing and you're really just cutting out the orange peel, getting the surface flat. But after that, once we block the whole surface down, we'll sand it with a DA with a soft interface pad and probably 400. If I was going with a metallic paint, I would probably go 600, but this is solid black. I want the biggest scratch I can have and, and not create issues. So 400 is fine for straight black. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna block it down with a stick, DA it with 400 and a soft interface pad, and then scotch prot the edges, paint hell out of it. The reason I'm using a stick is I still want it straight, but I don't want it, the long stick that I use to find all the dents and things like that. At this point, it should be very straight. It's kind of time to start rounding everything together. The final prep to paint is where you kind of round everything together just slightly. Uh, the body line that we've been keeping really, really crisp and straight, we're gonna round that slightly and that's gonna make it look even straighter. this see that orange peel that's really all we're trying to do is cut that out should be straight enough that we can get it sanded out and not have any dents or imperfection showing they're almost gone a little more blocking. So I blocked above the body line and below it. So now I'm gonna go back across it because it's really sharp right now. It's too sharp. I'll go back across it and I'm gonna round it just slightly. So that little bit of blocking right there on the body line with the stick, that's gonna make it just as straight as it can be. It's gonna make it look really, really good when you look down this thing.
All right, so I blocked this thing with a stick and 320, so that gave us straight line block marks. So now I'm going on with it, a DA, going around with a DA with a soft interface pad. It's got a lot of cushion, a lot of give to it. So it'll roll around the edges. Um, you gotta be careful on sharp edges because it'll cut right through. But this'll go around and it'll take out all my block marks that I got in that way you won't see them. So that's gonna give us our nice clean edge. When it's painted from the outside. All right, so that's how we taped up the jam. We put the Easy Edger flip tape all the way around it, then came back with some six inch paper That should give us a nice edge all the way around. What we'll do is we'll clean. We'll go around and clean the back side of the door. And then we'll come, we'll come just around the edge and put the tape. And since paint can't turn corners, we won't have any kind of line on the back side. So here's where I put the tape on the inside, just around the corner. Paint's not going to go around the corner, so it's not going to leave a line.